Hi guys, I hope you're all keeping well and safe. Welcome to Early Years Matters TV. On today's episode of Early Years Matters TV, I'm going to be talking about who are stakeholders in an early childhood care and education settings and examples of who these stakeholders are. Yes, on today's episode, I'm going to be talking about who are stakeholders in early childhood care and education settings and I'm going to be giving examples of who these stakeholders are. So I'm going to start by giving the definition of stakeholders. As a preschool owner, as an early childhood owner, you might be wondering who are stakeholders and perhaps you might not have an idea of who are these stakeholders. Don't worry, I'm going to explain. So stakeholders are the ones who ensure the success of your early childhood care and education setting. Yes, stakeholders are the ones who ensure the success of your early childhood care and education setting. Stakeholders are also the ones that is affected by the decisions that you make in your early childhood care and education setting. Yes, stakeholders are the ones that are affected by the decision that you, the preschool owner, the early childhood care and education owner, make yes so in terms of stakeholders they are the ones who ensure the success of your early childhood care and education setting and they are also the ones that are affected by the decisions that you make in your early childhood care and education setting now let me start by giving the examples of some of these stakeholders and pet carers and ed parent carers they are stakeholders you might be wondering why are they stakeholders like I said, they are the ones that ensure the success of your early childhood care and education setting. So, for instance, if the parents are the ones paying the bills, yes, they have a role to play. They are the ones paying the bills. They send their children to your preschool setting, to your early childhood care and education setting, and they are the ones that pay the bills. In return, this ensures the smooth running of your early childhood care and education setting. Yes, because if they pay the bills, you use the bills to do what? To pay your staff, to sort out the things in the preschool setting, in the early childhood care and education setting. So can you now see that parents, guidance, carers, they are stakeholders. They are also stakeholders in terms of decision making. For instance, you might be thinking of changes in relation to your preschool curriculum, you still have to consult with parents because it's been proven by policies, by legislations that parents are the primary caregiver of their young child. They know their children best. So in relation to making changes in terms of your preschool curriculum, you have to consult with the parent. You consult with the parent. So for you consulting with the parent, it shows that they are stakeholders. You're not just making decisions on your own. You're consulting them in matters that concerns their children. You're taking into consideration your any decisions for instance if you're also thinking of increasing your preschool field you still have to consult with the parents as well you're talking to them you're telling them why you're increasing it maybe because the cost of living but you're not to decide and say well i'm the preschool owner i know my pre the decision and that's it it's up to the parent whether they'll take it or not so that's why they are stakeholders, because you still have to consult them. You're letting customers in the loop in relation to what you're doing. You're consulting with the parent. Another stakeholder is the children. Yes, yes, yes. You need to understand that we're in the 21st century, and it's been proven by policies and legislation as well that children should have a say in matters that concerns them. So you're consulting with the children. For instance, in your curriculum, you're in your the opportunity to make informed decisions, because you're taking into consideration that they are stakeholders. They have a say in matters that concerns them you're not just saying boys and girls it's free play and that's it it's water play and that's it but you're still consulting with the children you're giving them options would you like sound play would you like water play so that shows that they are stakeholders you're not just making decisions on their behalf you're asking them questions what what would you have for your lunch what would you like to have for your snack so you're taking all of this into consideration you're observing the children you're finding out about their interests their likes their dislikes and you're taking this into consideration when you're planning the curriculum so this shows that they are stakeholders as well another stakeholder in early childhood care and education setting is the educator yes yes the educator and staff ensure the smooth running of the preschool of the early childhood care and education setting for instance some of the staff could be with the receptionist the receptionist welcome everyone they welcome the parents the children they all they hold well on their face the educator they ensure the smooth running of the classroom they ensure everything is going on in their classroom is smooth and mean that they are stakeholders because we Without them, the early childhood classroom will not run smoothly. So they are in charge, they are in control of the classroom. They decide what the children are going to play with, how they are going to play, they source the materials. So can you now see that they are also stakeholders in an early childhood setting as well? Of the stakeholders that are important in your early childhood 
setting and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel subscription is free and until i come your way next time stay safe and mind yourselves for now bye